video two on this old Malibu that has the vintage air system with a custom shortened modified that got welded down, you know, a TIG welded the aluminum condenser. I'm looking for leaks in it since a uh, shop cut the condenser and shortened it. And um, so it's on the vacuum. This is the second video. First was vacuum. And now we're going into nitrogen high pressure decay test. So I'm gonna close the low side and I'm gonna force all the nitrogen through the high side. So we need to close the vacuum because the vacuum pump is on. So you see it's down to 375 microns going through the high side right now. So let's shut that down and that'll jump back up. Okay. And so I already have the nitrogen on. I already cranked the regulator up a little bit. So I'll have some pressure. I'm shooting for about 175 PSI of pressure. So double check because you don't want to get splashed with oil. If you feed nitrogen under high pressure down into your uh, vacuum pump, it's really, really messy. Believe me. Tell me how I know. Uh, okay, so closed, closed, open. Let's open. There we go. You can see 57 PSI right there. It's going through the entire system, coming out on the other side, through the expansion valve, through the evaporator, back up the low side and out the low side port. We're at 75 PSI. Let's crank it up a little bit more. We're at 100, 150. And I'm gonna take it up to 175. This appears to be a hard shutoff expansion valve. So this expansion valve will probably not let the entire charge go from the high side and pass through the expansion valve to go to the low side. And the way you prove that is you shut off your nitrogen flow and you watch that this will not go all the way down and that doesn't come up all the way. That's telling you that your reed valves and everything inside your compressor is sealed. That is one half of the system. The high side is separate from the low side and there's no way for the high side pressure liquid refrigerant or anything to go backwards through the compressor through the cylinders and come back out the low side it's completely sealed off airtight and then on the flip side when you get to your expansion device your expansion valve has the side that's on the side of the evaporator and then the side that's on the liquid line and on a hard shutoff you see this difference right here some of them bleed a little bit some of them are completely shut off and they only let a little bit and then they don't move at all you get a little bit of variances between different valves so i'm going to open this back up put more pressure in there and i'm also going to put some in the low side because i know it won't all go over to the other side and i want to get this pressure test over with so let me crank up a little bit more uh pressure here Let's see if I could bring up to around 175. There we go. Let that sit. I just shut it off. Now, the correct way to do this is to let the hoses and your hoses and the hoses in the car and all the seals expand, swell, be pushed at that 175 PSI of pressure for 10 or 15 minutes. You walk away, do paperwork, go change oil, go go into the car, go do something else. Take a smoke, take a drink, whatever you do, you let this system rest and stabilize for 10 or 15 minutes before you conduct your nitrogen pressure decay test. And usually always for the video, I pass that off because I'm not gonna make you guys wait here with a video camera running for 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm gonna show you what you do next. I already shut off the nitrogen pressure by the yellow hose right there, this is off. The low side is open, the high side is open. So we're reading through our gauge set, both sides. Then right here, this little button says test tightness. So then you press this button. Now we're gonna pretend that 10 or 15 minutes has already elapsed and everything has already 
neutralize, you know, kind of like stable, stabilize out. Because sometimes you'll see tenths of a PSI drop about one every minute or so. And then it'll get to the point where it just stops. And that is the temperature of the gas equalizing, rubber expanding, all that kind of stuff happens. So let's hit this test button and you're gonna see the screen change. Test, there. Now we have the minutes and the seconds, C, M, and S. So you have the minutes countdown, you have the seconds countdown. Here's our pressure. And then we're gonna say it's right here, press enter to start. So we hit the enter button and it'll start the countdown button and it'll tell you how much plus or minus that you lose on your pressure. And remember, you see the little point right there? Here's the PSI, there's the point, and then it counts and it measures within tenths of one PSI. So let's hit the enter button. And now we're starting. Right now we have not lost. It'll say 0.0, .0 PSI has been lost or gained. And then the seconds and then the minutes will be counting down. And then say you came back in 15 minutes and if only dropped like one, 0 0.1 PSI, that's usually air within rubber hoses moving or temperature. So now, say I pulled this gas out of a cold garage and the tank was 68 degrees. Say the vehicle was sitting in the sun, outside in the sun, and it's 140 degrees inside the cabin, the engine was running. And if I put this gas into this system really fast and shut it off, you would see the pressure go up a little bit, a few tenths. Because as I put the cold gas in there, it would start heating up. And once I shut it off, I have sealed it in a closed system. So as the gas heats up a little bit, and nitrogen doesn't change very much with temperature. So it only go up a few tenths. If you do a lot of temperature swing, it'll go up a few PSI in a big system. But it'll go up a few tenths. And if you let the car sit overnight and the temperature goes down, you'll see it go down a few tenths. And then if you keep it sealed off and you let, put it back out in the sun, and it all gets hot again, you'll see that it go up a few tenths again. If there's no leak, it'll always stay about where you filled it up. But if you have a leak, it'll, of course it'll go down. And so there I explained and I'm showing you, you see we have zero in one minute and 40 seconds, we have 0 0.1 PSI of drop so far. So let's see what happens in a few minutes. I'm gonna go take a break to eat a sandwich and um, drink some water and do some paperwork and we'll see where this goes.